So today's lesson is on factorising. We're going to learn another way to factorise and that way is called grouping the terms. So we're going to use this method to factorise an expression that has four terms. And I'm going to give you an example here now. Ax plus By plus Ay plus Bx. So you can see here we'll be given four terms and we've been asked to factorise. This method is called grouping the terms. Okay, so example one I have here is PQ plus PS minus 9Q minus 9S. And step one is to select the common factors between the pairs. Okay, so at this point I'm going to see if I can spot anything that's common. And straight away here I can spot that with the PQ and the PS I have a P that's common. So I'm going to take that out first of all and I will be left with Q plus S. And if I take a look at the second two expressions here, I have minus 9Q and minus 9S. And obviously straight away I can see that the common factor here is minus 9. So I can place this as minus 9 and I'm left with Q plus S. And the reason why I do that is to, if we just highlight minus 9 times Q is minus 9Q and a minus times a plus gives me a minus and that's minus 9S. So we get to this point here which is when we know we've done everything completely correct, when we have two of the brackets that are identical. I then move on to step two and that is remove the common factor or factors from the new expression. So if I have a look at this, I can see I now have p times q plus s minus q times, sorry, minus 9 times q plus s. And so this is a common factor, so let me place that down there, q plus s. But by also, if I look at my answer, I'm saying, well, p is common to this, and so is minus 9. So that is also a common factor. And that's the sum finished. We'll do another example. Okay, so example two, 3x plus 3y minus ax minus ay. Um, so I could group the 3x and the minus ax, or as my x would be common in both, or I could group my 3x and my 3y and use my 3 as common. So whatever way initially you go to look at this. Uh, this time I'm going to select the 3x and the minus ax. And I'm going to take out the common factor between both, which is x. And I'm now left with 3 minus a. And I'm now moving on to the plus 3y and the minus ay. And obviously my common factor there is y, so it's plus y. And I'm left with times 3 minus a. So by doing step one there, I've come to my desired outcome, which is to have the exact same thing in both brackets. And I can now move on to step two, which is to remove the common factors from the new expression. So obviously if I have a look at this expression, these are common, so the common factor is three minus a. And also I'm saying, well, x is common and y is common, so that is my second bracket, x plus y. Now we'll do this sum again, and this time we will take out the threes in the first one, so, and see if we still get the exact same answer. Okay, so you can see I've written the sum down again, and this time I'm going to take out the common factor between the first two, and we've got 3x plus 3y, so the common factor here is going to be 3, so it's 3 times x plus y. And if I was to look at the second two here, my common factor is minus a, so we'll take that one out, so minus a, and I'm left with x plus y. And again, I've gotten the exact same thing written in both brackets, um, so I can now conclude, move on to step two, that my answer is x plus y, that is common in both, and also the second option that's common in both is 3 minus a. And so you can see here that we all have different brains uh, that will look and see something common straight away. Some of you will have looked and seen the three common 
both here straight away and taken out the three and other students would look and spot the X and take that out. But you can see here that our answers are the exact same. Different order, but the exact same. Okay, definitely a little harder this one. We're going to have a look and see what can I spot first of all that's common. If I have a look at this here, I have 2AC and this one is 2AD. So in actual fact, I have 2A common in both. So I'm going to take out the 2A here and I'm going to be left with C plus D. Okay. And now I'm going to focus on these two here. And I have BD plus BC. So obviously my common factor is B. So I'm going to take out plus B. And I'm going to be left with D plus C. So you can see here that with inside those two brackets I have the exact same thing. Different order but the exact same thing. And so I'll move on to step two which is to take out your common factors. So my first common factor is C plus D. And my second common factor is 2A plus B. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few now to try on your own and hopefully you will get on okay. Bear in mind the two steps that we follow. Okay, so tonight's learning check is to factorize the following. AX plus AY plus BX plus BY. So a nice easy one to start off with. And then something that's a little bit more challenging. 3AP minus 6BP plus 6AQ minus 12BQ. And again, remember you're looking for the highest factor that you can take out of all of these, the common. Uh, this is to be done into your copies and I'll check them tomorrow. Thank you.